1969 73 Old Girls Alumni of Queen's School Ede Bado are on a mission to establish a 250 million naira structure in the school to immortalize one of their own, uh, Dr. Stella Amayo Adadevo, who died in 2014 in the course of fighting to keep the dreaded Ebola virus disease away from Nigeria. For more about this legacy project, we are now being joined by Dr. Taiwa Damson, a psychiatrist and president of Queen's School Ede Ibado, Old Girls Association. Uh, welcome to the program. It's a pleasure to have you, ma'am. Uh, real quickly, what's this project about? And why is there a need for this center to honor an Amazon, I will call her, uh, Dr. Stella Dadovo? Oh, thank you very much for inviting me. Um, well, we need to honor Ameyo Stella Adadevo for various reasons. Topmost was that this was a woman who took the bullet for all of us in this country. She sacrificed her life so that we could all be prevented from catching the Ebola virus in 2014. So as an association, she attended Queen's School Ibadan. And we felt we need to honor this woman to set up a legacy in her name. As such, we are putting up a building in, at Queen's School Ibadan so that we can etch a memory into a psyche and into especially these young people who are schooling at Queen's School. She will serve as a model to them, as an icon to them, T telling them that a person can make a difference, that what is important is selfless service to your countrymen and women. Secondly, if you know what is happening in this country, many of the institutions, especially secondary institutions, are derelict with dilapidating structures. We, f we feel that we should partner with government. Government cannot do it alone. So we want to put up this multi-purpose building in Ibadan, in our men memory, to also assist government in putting in our own little ways a, some structure, because it's not just one complex. It contains about four complexes in one. Then totally, you see, in this country today, we don't celebrate heroes. Heroes are not born. You have to create your hero. Amen, you are the devil was an heroine for all of us. She could have succumbed when she was being, you know, pressurized to release the, the um, Sawyer man who came in with the index case of Ebola from Liberia, but she did not succumb to it. So we need to create our own heroes and heroines and celebrate them. That is why on, the, on Saturday, the 22nd of this month, just about three days' time, we are going to have a launch. We've invited captains of industry. The foremost philanthropist in Nigeria is already known, Baba Adebutu. He's, um, he's going to be a chief launcher for this occasion. Uh, Estella Ameyo Adadevo needs to be celebrated. And we are going to use the opportunity to appeal to government that this woman, she's been given many awards, accolades all over the country, all over the internationally. Uh, even ECOWAS gave her a posthumous award. We have not done that in Nigeria. She deserves to have a tertiary health in institution named after her. She deserves this. We need to celebrate her. What she did is, I mean, it was unbelievable. That she, she knew what she, this, she knew the risk she was, she, was, she, she was undertaking when she refused to release this man. And we want to allow the younger ones to know that you are not remembered 
for what you receive. You are remembered for what you give. Certainly, ma'am. Certainly. I, no honor is too great for a doctor, Daredevil, as far as I'm concerned. I shudder to imagine what would have happened to us as a country if um, that Sawyer person came in contact with anybody of a lesser metal than her. But I'd like to know, how can the public also get involved and also donate? Because we all owe her a great debt. Well, they can donate. I, I, I must say that there's a health um, a foundation that was set up for her immediately one year after she died. Dresser, being managed by one of her nieces. And they've been reaching out to health workers, training them, um, even to youths in, in schools, teaching them how to maintain good hygiene and all the rest of it. Now, for us as an association, we are appealing to people to key in onto this uh, initiative. Because you never know that next person who may benefit may see the, 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 uh, the statue of Ameyo in that school on this, on this building we are putting up. And we'll be asking, why is she so important? And that singular understanding of what she, she did who now energize oh, that individual to give it all to her nation. We need people, selfless people like Ameyo in this country. We can, you can donate to us, you can also donate to her dresser foundation, which is doing an excellent job in this country today. Well, uh, Dr. Adamson, very quickly, um, this event is taking place here in Lagos. Why Lagos? Why not Ibadan? And uh, will there be a virtual dimension to it uh, for the benefit of persons who may not be able to come uh, physically? And if you could offer us a description of the multipurpose building that you talked about, where would that be? Will it be within the school premises in Ibadan? And does the school have enough land, enough space uh, to accommodate that building? Yeah, thank you. The first question, why Lagos? We were to launch this last year in Ibadan. 9th of May, 2020, and then you know the story, the COVID-19 pandemic, pandemic disease struck. So we had to cancel. Then we chose again March this year. Then the second wave struck. And most of our donors are from Lagos. And they told us we are not coming to Ibadu. We won't leave Lagos. So and we said, you know, what's, what's in, a, in, in a place? We can move it to Lagos, so it will be easy for many of them to come and partner with us on what we are doing. Now, there is enough ground. We have enough space at the present site of Queen School, Ibadan, where this building can be sited. So we don't have a problem with, 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 um, with space or where the structure can be sited. And you see, if you go to many of our present schools, especially secondary schools, you will see that there's nothing to write home about. In fact, the one that struck up, because we are saying we don't know how much we will be able to realize, but we know the premium, the one we are giving the utmost premium is the assembly hall for these students. Presently, Queen School has about 2,000 pupils, and they don't have a functioning assembly hall. You know, so we are hoping that at the worst, we will build this 2,500 capacity assembly hall. It's also supposed to have an IT hub. It's, also, it's supposed to have a skills acquisition arena. It's supposed to have a refectory. At 12 o'clock, 12.30, when they are to have their break, you, if you see where these kids go to have their break, it will break your heart. So we want to do a refectory for them. Somewhere we are during break, they can have their, uh, their lunch. And of course, we need to do a short access road to this arena, you know, and um, hopefully we will reconstruct also the, the gate leading to these premises. Um, so it's a whole package. And we've sold it to our sponsors, to our donors, and many of them want to partner with us just because of Ameyo, and also for this 
pupils in the secondary school, they are children, our grandchildren, our great grandchildren. We really need to come to their aid. So I want to appeal to everybody to join us in achieving this our objective and our goal, and God will help us all. And us, Dr. Taiwo Adamson, and we wish you well, and we hope that uh, listening to you, you will get the support that you require to immortalize this uh, Nigerian heroine, uh, who is represented by a uh, sacrifice, a uh, bravery, and the courage that she demonstrated. Thank you very much indeed for joining us. Thank you very much for having me. You're Thank welcome. you.